Hello, I apologize in advance if you can hear my neighbor's music. I just wanted to take a moment to make sure we're on the same page when it comes to the words that we use because the way we speak can bring somebody into a conversation or keep them out. I remember getting home really inspired for my classes in college and I wanted to talk to my roommates about the stuff we were talking about in my classes. And for whatever reason, my last two years of college got so philosophical and the language got really abstract and weird. And I would go home all excited and talk to my roommates about it. And one of them would get what the hell we were talking about because she was a philosophy major. So I could be all like, yeah, fuck the patriarchy, bitches. And she would know right away what I'm talking about. The other roommate... She was like, what the hell is a patriarchy? And it occurred to me, hold on a second, not everybody is being exposed to these words that I'm learning and these concepts that I'm interacting with every day now. They're kind of out there for some people. Like if you study science, you might never have a philosophy class unless you go out of your way to study philosophy. I don't know, I'm just saying that's what I imagine happens to science majors. I don't know why it made me so sad that I couldn't share the most rewarding aspects of my classes with some of my friends just on the basis that they never heard some of those words and on the basis that I had no other words with which to talk about those words. Um, to be honest, it kind of felt like a trap, like why wouldn't you put the most liberating and progressive kinds of writing in language that normal people don't understand? Rather than discussing the answer to that question, why don't we, in this channel, liberate those words and share them with everybody that watches these videos and make these videos serve as a reference point for what those words mean when we come and analyze whatever weird shit we want to analyze in this channel. And the only two intentions I have behind this really are two. One, that if you don't know these words, that well, you will now know them from now on and hopefully you can integrate them into your own conversation or that you become curious enough to go read this kind of literature and or number two that if you are familiar with these concepts and you love this kind of discussion let this serve as a reminder that one day these concepts were foreign to you and somebody had to come and explain what they meant to you so i really hope that you continue to do that to share them with more and more people as we go on with our lives before i get to answering what the fuck is the patriarchy I feel like I have to begin with, um, what is capitalism? Yes, bitches, I'm going there. Capitalism is what we have in the US, an economic and political system in which the money of the country is, well, in the hands of individuals rather than the government. I know that most of these are going to be very general and vague generalizations, so feel free to contribute in the comment section if you have anything to say about any of this. Please feel free to correct me. But let's look at what I just said, a political and economical system. Economics is a study of choice, how human beings make choices. In politics, well, that relates to power and relationships that depend on power. When I look at Marx's writing, he always says political economy. And I've been told to understand that as to mean capitalism. So, by the power of inference, I believe, if I would understand it correctly, Capitalism is a system which operates under relationships of power. So let's now go back to the patriarchy. A patriarchal society is a society in which the oldest male has the most power. For example, you know, the man or the father is the head of the house. The king has the most power and they want the children to be men so they can be the next king. And if you have a daughter, well, she'll just give you the next king, hopefully. In the US, well, we have men be president and Hillary still has not gotten elected or anybody else for that matter. I don't have a preference for Hillary. Please don't kill me, I just threw her in there. So in the large scale of things, when you look at a patriarchal society, you realize that everybody who's not a man has no power in the large sense of things. All right. And isn't it just beautiful how we arrive at feminism from this, which is just a stance that says, hey, this is bullshit. Brutus is just as cute as Caesar. Brutus is just as smart as Caesar. People totally like Brutus just as much as they like Caesar. Throughout the history of time, society has just elevated men in so many different ways that let's just look at the fact that man is considered to be the normal. Like, let's even look at just the words man and woman. Man, this thing, woman, not man.
not a man essentially i don't think a patriarchal society is wrong in nature but i think uh, for our society in particular it has tended to go along with sexist thoughts and actions discrimination based on your gender and the reason feminism is so looked down upon is because it doesn't really benefit men to promote feminism if you get what i mean like it has been put down in the media for so long but feminists come in all shapes and form yes you have the feminazis i'm sure i'm sure they exist but you also have the I don't know what you would call me, but I'm a feminist. And you know what, guys? I get it. You suffer from sexism too. You can't express your emotions. You have to be buff. You have to be a doctor or a lawyer or a business executive. I get it. You suffer too. But don't you try to take away my own suffering and my own movement against that suffering. You go create your own movement, bitches. I will support your own movement. You support my movement. And let's be happy together. Let it be known that you do have my condolences for the suffering in which you live in. But um, I really don't understand the whole point against feminism because in my head that just means more people can make more money and more profits can go to more people. And so I don't understand why you think we're gonna take like a chunk of your hypothetical pie. I say let it make cake. So the whole point of this goddamn video and really my whole education was to come to the conclusion that everything we know and that we take you know, a face value is really made up by us and then we can just as easily think the opposite you know, like men being powerful and men with women being powerless we can change that, we just decided to do the other way and same thing with the race white men and white people decided that white was powerful and all the other not white people have, you know, less and less power than them it's all made up <laughs> and like why do we have to use fancy words to communicate those ideas? And I haven't come up with words for them. I'm not saying this is what this video is about. I'm saying go out for the love of God and share these words so that not only the weird intellectuals at college know these things, but everybody can be able to benefit from these ideas. It's really hypocritical to say like some information is more valuable than others. But I feel like this information would be good for every human being. Why is only a certain kind of people reading it? or being exposed to it at least because you can be exposed to the ideas and the concepts behind it even if you don't read, you know, the actual text and that unfortunately not even going to college will solve this problem because I couldn't communicate some of these ideas with my other college friends like I said, just because they didn't take this kind of classes like, these are some of the most valuable and empowering analysis of humanity they belong to the masses and not to the 10 people that are going to read your academic research or whatever and you know this video could go on and on and i could find more terms and if i find more terms that go together and i can put a new video together i'll go ahead and do that and this game becomes like some kind of ongoing series but you are well aware by now that i cannot keep any promises i have made on youtube so far so you know don't wait on it or anything hello to the new people that have been subscribing and thank you to everybody that's been with me I'll see you next week. Maybe. Maybe the next week after that. I don't know. No promises. <laughs> oh my god, and it is the end of an era. Honey Boo Boo is no longer on television. You know, I find it really interesting how quickly TLC dropped the show from their programming because they understand that supporting this show is to, in one way or another, support um, somebody that molests children. And what I found really interesting was the parallel between TLC and YouTube. YouTube will continue to support directly guys that are known to molest children. We live in a sad, sad world. Let's try to.